initially when you look at the online platform, you used to look at it as the academic writing, um, those kind of account jobs, right? So that was the, that's how it started. But now um, it has evolved to a point where you can get professional jobs. So I went through the Agile Digital program, and during the program, we, we I learned more of how you can source a job. And on the process, I was able to um apply for um or what would i say I, I was able to bid for a job and i got on board i have been able to secure a single client i have worked with them for a long term for a long term contract so so far so good i am still working with them i am young in the industry i am just a year old so for me it's also a learning process i am working with more of the european market so i have had an experience before However, this has opened up more doors for, for me. The global labor markets are converging and there are significant shifts that are resulting from this convergence. Research shows that businesses in the West can save up to 7% of their cost by just adapting outsourcing. And this drive around outsourcing is a factor of many, many, many developments from aging population, to seeing Africa and emerging markets as future markets. And so we've really spent the last couple of years investigating this and building up the evidence case uh, to confidently say that this area of tapping into global demand for BPO and IT services is really the game-changing opportunity for countries like Kenya in solving the youth employment challenge that all African countries are currently experiencing. The majority of that demand is currently being generated in a couple of source markets where these large enterprises are outsourcing these services, largely in the global north. Um, so North America, US and Canada is making up about 40% of this demand exclusively. That's followed by Europe and the UK uh, with about 29% of that demand. Asia and, the, and Middle East is a significant source of demand um, and then that's followed by much smaller um, regions, uh, Latin America and, and the Caribbean at 3%, the whole of Africa um, providing about 2% of global demand for BPO and IT outsourcing. So the program focuses on ensuring that Kenya becomes a labor choice destination for companies globally, regionally and also locally meaning that uh, our focus is really to work in the entire ecosystem, try to stimulate the ecosystem and strengthen it to be able to create sufficient, decent jobs for young people. As BPO Association of Kenya, um, the reason we came into formation is really to bring some coordination into the ecosystem. The story has been told and we've been talking and I think for the last two decades, Kenya has been ready and we want everybody on board because it's time to put wheels on our bus. Yeah, my name is Joyce Kimani, a beneficiary uh, from Ajira Digital Program. I joined Ajira Digital Program. I first took transcription course which uh, was an online course for two days and then one month mentorship. Later, I did uh, data entry. Um, I also did um, digital marketing. I don't know what's happening. I work with Upwork and Fiverr. Uh, I'm not sure if COVID uh, made everyone to go back to online work now that the market is a bit saturated, but we are here to get solutions. Thank you. So we see ourselves basically in the ministry as an enabler to contribute and to improve e-business, e-government services, e-commerce, entrepreneurship and digital skills, as well as enhancing market competitiveness of the country's products and services. We have almost a million people annually in Kenya entering the job market and they are able to be absorbed by both the private sector and the public sector. So we feel that the digital space is where most of this youth will be absorbed and uh, Ajira Youth Empowerment Project is scaled up and combined with the Constitu Constituency Innovation Hubs to enable the transfer of skills, uh, training, mentorship to our youth so that they're able to move into the digital space and uh, get access to employment in that space. Kenya Private Sector Alliance is here today one of the partners and implementers of this great program by the government, the Ajira Digital Program. 
where we link young people to digital and digitally enabled uh, jobs and work while providing digital solutions to businesses as we jointly promote the country's business environment and economy. The fact around that already this story is not a new story. This is a story that is, has already has tentacles. It's developing and so the call to action is that all of us will have definitely to come together and really um, ensure that uh, we maximize on this opportunity.